Good evening, everyone. Among the recommendations in a consultant's report on the Columbus Police Department is a change in leadership. Uh, that is uh, initially uh, potentially placing Chief Oscar Lewis on the hot seat. But some members of the community are rallying behind Lewis. WCBI Selena Schaefer spoke with a resident who has even gone as far as making t-shirts in support. She joins us live from the police headquarters with the latest on that. Selena. That's right. Members of the community want Lewis to know that he isn't standing alone. They even plan on showing other city leaders that they support him. I understand the consultant coming in, but I feel like there need to be some type of action plan set, set for him to where he can come in and, and you tell him what the problem is and he have an opportunity to try to work on not just come in and just say, hey, it's time for you to go. Columbus resident Derek Jones is one of many residents upset with Dr. KB Turner's recommendation to terminate Lewis. How is it that he's able to fix something that's been going on for years in six months? Lewis had only been on the force for six months when Turner first came in. Jones feels Lewis adopted what he calls a mess. The situation he's been put in, he's only been there a year. Trust me, it took longer than a year to get him to get the city in the situation he's in, so it's going to take him longer than a year to get us out of that situation. To show support, he and other residents are having t-shirts made to wear specifically at the next city council meeting when the decision is supposed to be made. We're going to show up at the meeting early. We're going to set up, set up shop there. We're going to be praying. It turns out Columbus residents have a history of backing their police leaders when pushed against a wall. Back in 2005, former police chief J.D. Sanders clashed with city leaders and eventually resigned. Prior to that, citizens made a point to back him. They had bumper stickers and signs made in support. Jones says it's important to advocate for our city leaders. If you take care of the inside, the whole body of Columbus, uh, Mississippi will, will be able to prosper from it. Earlier today, Mayor Robert Smith wrote a letter to CPD officers explaining the current situation. He warns them that even though discussion about the 95-page examination was tabled at the council's last meeting, something will be done regarding change in the department. The next meeting will be held on August 15th. Smith is recommending that Turner stick around for another six months to work with new incoming officers. For now in Columbus, Selena Schaefer, WCBI News.